The following podcast is a Jill Divine Media production. Christianity has become known for judgy people, strange words, ancient stories, confusing rules, and a members-only mindset. This is why I stayed away from the church for so long, but it's not supposed to be that way. I'm Jill Devine, a former radio personality with three tattoos, a love for a good tequila, and who's never read the entire Bible. Yet, here I am hosting a podcast about faith. The Normal Goes a Long Way podcast is your home for real conversations with real people using real language about how faith and real life intersect. Welcome to the conversation. I'm Jill Devine, and at Messiah St. Charles, where I work and where I attend weekly worship on Sunday mornings, we are in the middle of a sermon series called What the World Needs Now. And it's all based on Paul's letter to the Galatians about the nine virtues that Jesus followers should develop in themselves to live in harmony with each other. The idea is if we display these fruit in our life, then it's evident to others that we are walking with God and we're reflecting his character. So each pastor is taking on a couple of the words. And Pastor Jim Mueller, I wanted to talk to you first about how this message came about and how we need this so badly in our lives right now. Obviously, Fruit of the Spirit is about Christian character. It's about how we literally treat the world. How do we treat other people? So what I like to think is, when our character reflects God's character, not perfectly, we're not perfect people, but when we reflect God pretty well, when people can look at you and say, I can tell you're trying to follow God. Mm -hmm. It's not because you're so moral. It's not because you're living perfectly. It's because you're reflecting these fruit. I think for a lot of people, they think of Christians by what they believe in. And I wish they would look at us more because we reflect the character of God. Mm, yeah. Like, yes, we, we believe in Jesus and we follow Jesus. But what does that mean? It means love. It means joy. It means peace. It means patience. It means kindness. I'm just like everybody else. Like some of those words, I'm like, okay. And then others, <laughs> I read some of the words and I'm like, oh, no, I'm not <laughs> right. very good at that at all. Specifically patience. Same. Uh, I don't think my family would ever consider me, nor any of the people I work with, a gentle person. <laughs> I'm more like a... <laughs> loud and come crashing into a room kind of person. But, uh, but I hope I have a, a gentle and soft spirit when it's needed. You know, mm -hmm. I, at least I'm working on it. I'm trying to work on it. So yeah, th those, there's always going to be times where you read these words and you're like, of course, that's how a Christian should be. And then there's going to be other times you might read through some of the words and you're like, ah, oh, it's so convicting for me personally, because I want to be a patient person, but I I just drove to work. I'm not patient. Right. The car line at school. I'm not patient. And, right. And we also know too, like as a parent, like when you display the vices or the opposites of those virtues, that's when you really feel like you're failing as a parent. Oh, like, oh I don't want to show that to them. Yeah. I know I'm not perfect, but I sure want to be pretty good around them. It, it seems like this would be just such a good part of scripture to just pray over almost yeah. like Every single day, just give me this. Yeah. Just give me, maybe not all of this right now. Yeah. I can only do one thing right now, but give me patience. Give me kindness. Give me joy. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Like one of our ideas and we passed them out the first week at church and we're actually going to order some more because we ran out immediately that first week at church, but we, we, we printed a uh, sticker that's meant for like your water bottle or your cooler or something like that. And the thought was, Hey, wh whatever that water cup you carry around each day, put that sticker there. Yep. So those words just stare at you. It's on mine and it matches my cup perfectly. So I was, yes, oh, okay. I was cool. like, what, how does this work? And every time I look at it, that's exactly what happened. It kind of does like resets my mind. Yeah. yeah. And that's the goal. Like yeah. if the only thing somebody got out of this entire series was, Hey, Jim, Chuck, Ryan, you didn't do a great job teaching, but I memorized the nine words. Well, we did something then. Yep. Cause if you just memorize the nine words, you're getting something. I mean, that's, that's actually really, really huge. And especially if you've got a tough decision you got to make, or you've got a temptation that's out there and you remember that word goodness and you're like, but what would it mean to be good in the situation? Yeah. Oh man, if that comes up, then the spirit's working on you, whether or not we we did our best job or not. Okay, before 
I let you go. Loaded question. Today, right now, which one of the fruits would you say you're thriving at? That is a loaded question. I know. Not I don't I, I just want to know like today. Because each day is so different, but that's the beautiful thing, Jim. I know. Let, let me answer a different question. Okay. What I most want from myself, and I'm working on it hard, so I think I'm doing okay at this, and specifically what I want from everybody else, anybody who's showing up and they're listening, they're showing up because they want to hear from God. The reason we want to do this series is partially because of the political season. That word kindness, Mm. I'm going to tell you what, everybody, and and, and people have their opinions and people know who they're going to vote for and they sometimes think everybody else is wrong, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely cast your vote. Absolutely have your opinion. Absolutely, you know, share, debate, everything else. Do it with kindness. I dare you. I dare you to do it with kindness. Um, To be respectful, to be loving, in the midst of everything, to have a gentle spirit. I mean, these words all stick out, right? But that word kindness in a season like this and our politicians, I dare you to be that kind of person. Yes. Okay. Yes, well, that's it, it, everybody. Okay, kindness, that's what you're focusing on. And, and if you're not a Christian, you don't you don't have to do it. But if you are, oh, if you are, I get the point. It's a good out. challenge. Yeah. All right, let's get Pastor Chuck and Ryan Findler in here and talk about your perspective. But the one thing we haven't done yet is named all of the fruit of the Spirit. So go. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Which one, loaded question, are you thriving at? Oh, Oh, that's not what it's thinking. See? Softball. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. You you thought I was going to say, which one do you need help with? No, which one are you thriving at? Right now, though, because it's not about, I don't think you can look at like your whole life. I think it's it changes. Okay, I think the one that probably comes a little natural to me or the one is peace. I'm a pretty peaceful kind of guy. I don't, in general, get too worked up over nonsense and things definitely go wrong for me. Um, my wife and I have been sharing the same car since May <laughs> and all our other cars are always broken. I got one in the shop right now and, you know, and, but you know what? I'm totally at peace with that. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't get cranked up about politics or just, tr- I'm basically pretty peaceful, pretty unoffendable. Um, The one I want to get good at is kindness. I would love, love to be known as a kind person. Ryan and I just shot each other a weird look because that's like the last thing I would think about you. Oh, that's what I want so bad. That's what I pray for. You don't think you're kind? No, because I know me. I walk around with me all the time. I know my thoughts and, you know, I would just like to be kinder. Like, you... Kind. I would love, love, love that one. Okay. And self control would be sweet too. <laughs> right. <laughs> we all, that one. Yeah. I don't think that anybody's like, thriving oh, at that one. But kindness and self control would be like, oh. Oh. What are you thriving at? I'm going to go with joy. Yeah. I think it's hard to, I don't know. I, I just think that. I get excited about life and, and excited about opportunities. And I think, uh, I, I guess I can talk about, let's talk about marriage. Like, I, I feel like there's a lot of people, marriage and, and now with baby coming. Maybe it was before I got married or when I was just married. I remember some people that were like, uh, oh, he must still be in that honeymoon phase, right? And I'm like, three years later, I still am, I guess. If I actually think it's getting better. And so, like, I'm still, like, waiting for, like, the negativity that people said will come. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it will. But I'm, like, I'm still pretty jazzed about this thing I got. And then. (laughs) That's good. And then (laughs) with the baby, there's just, honestly, I'm kind of frustrated at some negativity that's been thrown towards us about being a parent. 
And I'm like, Everybody first off. Everybody has an opinion. Yeah, I'm like, maybe just shut up. But I'm like, I'm pretty excited for this. And I just don't think, I think you just adapt to it. Like, just, there's another human in your life. Cool. Yeah. What do I get to do People with them People have been now? doing this for Ice ever. cream dates. Awesome. You know? So, I don't know. Follow up with me in three more years. But, like, I remember the the negativity people said would come like in marriage that hasn't come yet i have a feeling that being a parent will also be pretty joyful and i'm like that's just kind of my attitude because also like why would i why would i look forward to it with negativity anyways i so yeah i'm gonna say joy which one are you not thriving at i would have said patience that's why i picked to preach on so I would get better at it and uh, present myself as a patient master. Um, but here we are now, <laughs> three weeks away, and I don't know if I'm there yet. Um, I'm going to go self-control. Okay. Because, like, I think that's the easy one. That's just, that one dings everyone. Yeah, dings everybody. that's everybody's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. Oh, wait, how about you? I'm, oh, I ask the on. questions. Come on. People are people want to know. Everyone... Listening to this goes, I wonder about Joe. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, I got Joe, it. Where are you at? Oh, you guys guessed then. You're thriving at in gentleness. No. Kindness. I would say love. Which is basically kindness. Yeah. That would be that would be mine as love. Like, that's that's my thing. I'd also put you in the joy category. Mm. Yeah, you, you know, people are either a little more happy or a little less happy. <laughs> In every encounter with somebody else. And I think people are always a little more happy mm, when I am, yes. when I run in you. <gasps> Jessica says yeah, that That's the sure. nicest yeah. thing ever. Yeah. See, there you make people a little bit better, Aww. a little worse, feel a little better or worse. You always make people feel better. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, you bring, the, you bring the joy. Well, man, I should. Uh -huh. I'm going to have you guys on all that, the time. <laughs> yeah. You're actually really perfect at your job because I'm like, if there were a new person, I'd I want to be like, make sure they meet Jill. So, yeah. Aww. Well, thank you. When you go to normalgoesalongway.com and even in our show notes that you can access, you will find a link to each of the messages that the pastors will preach on for each fruit. And we, like I said, have already started this message. So Laura Fleetwood is going to do something special for us with each fruit. She's going to do some guided prayers. And so tomorrow we'll release her first guided prayer on the words love, joy, and peace, because those have already been taught on Sunday mornings. And so then we encourage you to come back every Tuesday up until October 15th to get that guided prayer for the rest of the fruit. Thank you for listening to Normal Goes a Long Way. We really appreciate it.